Hi everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Christelle. I'm a professional portrait artist from Canada. So today it's finally here, the video you've all been waiting for. Uh, seriously, I've been getting tons of messages about this. Um, people asking me, Christelle, teach me how to draw wrinkles. How do you achieve skin texture? How do you draw skin? Well guys, it's easier than you think, so keep on watching. Before we start, I just want to let you know that I am not going to focus and present each tool I'm using today. Um, I will obviously show you what I'm using, but I won't get into any specifics because I'm going to do uh, a video about this in the next few weeks. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell because you don't want to miss this. By the way, I am entirely self-taught and this is a technique that I've developed and mastered throughout the years all by myself. So this is not a definitive guide. Um, feel free to use this tutorial and tips as guidelines to uh, create and develop your very own technique because there is nothing worse than trying to do something that doesn't feel natural. So enough talking and let's get to it. Um, I love drawing wrinkles and very detailed faces. So this is what we're gonna do today with Mr. De Niro here. Um, as you can see, he has a perfect skin for a skin tutorial. Okay, what I like to do to draw the general tone of the skin um, is use a stumps that, I, that has already been used in the past. So it has a little bit of graphite on it. So you can use it to draw the general uh, bottom layer of the skin. You just want to do a general tone like this. You want to apply it on a small region, start with a small section of the drawing. You don't want to do the, the skin all over the face at the same time. Focus on small areas and you'll be able to do more details that way. So we're going to work on this area here. So as you can see, I am not doing a long movement. I'm doing small little dots to recreate the skin and the general texture of the skin. And then what you want to do is add a little bit of, um, not wrinkles, but the fine lines you find in skin. So for this, you want to use a, um, let me see like a 3, 3H or maybe 2H will do. Um, a softer pencil will be too dark, so you don't wanna go with a dark pencil yet. And you just wanna add little lines, really fine lines on the skin. Again, you'll see that my techniques are a little random because, let me tell you why, my goal is not to make photorealistic drawings. I want to make realistic or hyper-realistic drawings, but I don't want to copy a picture. I still want my portraits to look like drawings. Uh, this is my ultimate goal. Um, so sometimes people tell me that my drawings look more like the real person than the actual photograph. That's because I look at a lot of pictures of my subjects and I'm trying to reproduce what I have in my head on paper as well as what I can see on my reference picture. Does that make sense? So it's a little random, but it works fine. So you wanna add little lines and then do some little dots just to add a little bit of texture. You see already it looks it looks great, it looks like skin, and I just started, so. And uh, be cautious, too much darkness or too much shine will ruin the entire portrait, and skin is a big part of a portrait. It's 
basically everything. So be very cautious. And then I'm going to do some little wrinkles and lines and highlights with an eraser. It's a very thin eraser. So you just want to erase a little bit like this. Do some little lines. And by the way, you need to find very high resolution pictures. It's very important because you want to be able to zoom in the picture. So make sure you get the highest resolution picture available of your subject. And I know some people like to print out the pictures they're working on. I used to do this and I don't find it optimal. I mean, you cannot even zoom in the picture. So how to draw wrinkles? Let me show you. So let me find, a, okay, there's one here. So here there is a mole. You see this one I'm not entirely satisfied with. I'm gonna use my thumb to fade it a little bit like this. Um, you want to be careful with the wrinkles. You don't want them to be too dark because it will he, the person will look older than they already are. So you want to use a um, tougher lead, such as H or F, to draw. You know the the first layer, the first line, like this. And you'll see on the reference picture that a wrinkle is not just a straight line. Um, you'll see a little, a bunch of little lines, you know. So you have to draw that as well. Okay, and then here there's a darker area I can see on my uh, reference picture. So what I want to do is use a softer pencil, such as a B or 2B. And then I'm going to do a little cross etching shading instead of using my stumps. I'm going to do just like this. So you apply the graphite on the area and then you use your stump. So there you go. So it looks more natural. And then you're going to use your eraser to do the little hair you see on the skin, like so. There you go. Another tool I'm using is a paint pen. Um, but with this, you have to work very carefully because um, once the paint is on the paper, you won't be able to remove it. So try your paint pen on a small area or a random sheet of paper before you apply it to the actual drawing because there's no turning back. So you have to be very careful. And then you're going to add some eye highlights. Again, don't do all your highlights with the paint pen. Use your eraser as much as you can because the paint pen is very, very white. And as you can see, my paper is a little bit yellow. So the white paint pen is really super white and you don't want it to be overpowering. Look at the moles you drew. Um, there's always a little highlight there. So you just want to add a little, some little dots here and there. Some highlights, again, look at your reference picture a lot. And again, there is no secret on how to draw skin. You just have to do the best you can to recreate what you're seeing on your reference picture on the paper. So be cautious, less is more, too much texture is gonna um, 
look too dark or too shiny. You still want it to look natural. And not enough texture will make your drawing look flat. So what you want is balance. Okay guys, so that is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, this was a more general tutorial on how to draw skin. I'd be happy to make another one focusing on uh, specific aspects of the skin such as moles or wrinkles. If this is something that interests you, please let me know. And also, please leave any questions you may have in the comments. Uh, I'll make sure to answer as many as I can. Let me know if there's any tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want to see the progress of this De Niro drawing or any other drawings I'm working on. Uh, and also, if you haven't already, check out my Q&A video I recently did. And I'll see you next time. Bye!